Hey guys, uh, Jason here from the AZ Forerunner channel. Uh, I thought uh, I would just give you a real quick uh, equipment update. Um, so as you know, here in my uh, backyard at my house where I have my sky shed, I have my observatory sitting on top of uh, my pool deck. Um, so it's not ideal. Um, and I can't put in a permanent pier. Um, I would have to drill through the concrete and and fasten it down somehow and all that stuff and I'm pretty sure my wife would uh, disown me. So, um, after thinking about things, um, I decided that I was going to go ahead and purchase a semi-permanent pier. Um, so what I got was the Ioptron uh, Tri-Pier. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, standard tripod that's in here right now out, put that thing in, and just kind of, just let's just go over it just a little bit and just show you what it is and, and, and why I uh, purchased that. So, um, you know, rather than put in a permanent pier, which I really can't do, um, this was my, my best option. Uh, the reason why I got the Ioptron Tripe here is because eventually my plans are to get a SEM60 or SEM70 uh, uh, mount head and that will fit directly on the um, Tripe here. No adapters, uh, no nothing, just straight up fit right on. So let's get this thing out and let's get the uh, Tripe here in. And then I'll just kind of give you guys a once over. Let's uh, try this again. Um, so yeah, it looks like I'm recording now. I was uh, talking to you guys in time lapse. So anyways, let's uh, get into the observatory here and we'll just take a look at the, uh, at the uh, Ioptron tripe here. So I, I put it in, uh, it's kind of just put in rough. I leveled it and everything, um, but it's, it's nice and level. I kind of centered it um, into the, uh, the sky shed pod. Um, I know that normally I'll have it offset either to the south or to the north, but I just wanted to kind of get it in and get it level and stuff. So once I get it leveled in here, I can pretty much move it forward or backwards and not have to re, uh, re-level the, the mount. So, so why did I go with the tripe here? Well, if we look at it right here, and you can see it's, it's a pretty hefty, uh, piece of equipment, so it's a lot heftier than a um, a standard uh, tripod for like a HEQ5 or an EQ, uh, you know, a Skywatcher or Atlas or Orion or any of those uh, any of those uh, mounts. <clears throat> I did have to purchase this piece right here. Uh, this piece is the um, Tripure adapter. But it's specific for um, the uh, Takahashi heads or the uh, Skywatcher and Orion Atlas heads. Um, it says it will work with an HEQ5. Um, I'm going to mess with that a little bit and see if I can get my serious mount head to fit on this. Because if I can, you know, I, I, I'd like to do that. Um, my serious mount tracks a little better than my, um, than my Atlas mount because I need to uh, hyper-tune the Atlas mount. Um, but if we look at the legs, 
I mean, it's it's very very well built. Um, it's it's nice, weighty, and very secure. I mean, it it does not it does not move. So, I mean, that's the reason um, for the new gear. You know, I I couldn't put a, a permanent pier in. Um, so this is kind of the next best thing. Um, so yeah, um, that's that's it for now. I mean, that's I just wanted to kind of give everybody a quick update on uh, on some new gear that I got. And uh, right now, skies are looking really really clear. It's really really windy, but here at home, I mean, we've got we've got nice clear skies. Um, I actually had the pier probably for about a week, and right after I got the pier it, it started clouding up so I think that was my that was the uh, mandatory or customary cloudy skies after new equipment so hopefully it'll stay clear tonight I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do any imaging um, I might just get the mount out here put it put it on top get everything secure maybe get all the cables running everything and um, and kind of go from there but like I said this was just a little, quick little update on some new equipment that I got and I thought I would uh, just give you guys a a kind of little once over of the tripe here uh, my initial thoughts initial thoughts are that this is a super super nice uh, uh, semi-permanent pier and if you look here I've got I've got plenty of room plenty of room around to to walk and and kind of go through I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little uh, like mini PC or a small form factor PC um, down below and then just run everything from that. I've already got that all worked out. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the update for now. Um, I hope everybody is, uh, is imaging and I hope everybody is uh, getting, uh, getting clear skies. So until the next video, I will talk to you guys uh, later. All right, wait, guys. Um, so, actually, been a couple days since uh, I recorded the first part of the video. Um, I actually have a mount head on top of the uh, tripe here, and I have a telescope up there also. So, I will go ahead and um, let you guys see. Uh, what I have mounted on the tripe here right now as it stands. So let's open this puppy up. All right. So right there we have the tripe here. I have my Atlas uh, EQG mount head on it and my 8-inch uh, Orion Ritchie Creighton telescope. So I think that's what I'm going to... So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and um, set up in the observatory for now. Um, you know, we're getting pretty close to uh, galaxy season, so I'm going to get that thing dialed in. Uh, I have a new um, reducer for the RC that is supposed to bring it down to F, uh, right around F6, like F5.2 or 5.7. So I need to get that thing dialed in before galaxy season. That's... Uh, that's what I've got on the pier right now. Uh, actually was running it last night. Was getting a uh, guiding of about 0 uh, 0.7, anywhere from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9. So that's pretty good for my Atlas mount. Um, but yeah. Okay, and another thing that I forgot to mention. Um, I am now an OPT uh, affiliate, so I will have the, uh, or my affiliate link um, in the video description below. So if you need to purchase some equipment, uh, you know how that goes. Uh, you know, if you feel inclined to, click on that link, my affiliate link, and, um, you know, uh, do it through there. It'll, it'll help me out supposedly a little bit. Um, and at no extra cost to you. So uh, just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, 
But again, uh, skies are looking nice tonight. Um, so I'm probably going to play around with the um, with the RC and just kind of get everything dialed in. But until I see you guys the next time, um, which will probably be in a couple weeks, uh, we are two weeks away from uh, from New Moon. So until I see you then, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And clear skies.